All right. It is what? I don't even know. It's 20 minutes till 8 p.m. And uh, uh, I just did a, we had a band concert. And so I did some, some photography for that. And that was kind of cool. So uh, I thought, you know what? Why don't I just go ahead and start up the next episode? So I'm starting the next episode. Welcome. Welcome to the next episode. Yeah. Uh, a minute ago, I knew what number it was. It's gone. I've already packed up and I'm ready to go home, but I, w- I want to tell the story. So there's this guy in one of my classes and he plays these fantasy role play games. And so he was telling me about his cyborg. And so he told me his cyborg has these cyborg arms. And then he said his, his uh, he had cyborg arms because he didn't have any real arms. That made sense. So if you don't have any real arms, you should go for the cyborg arms. And then, then, then he said something I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't overlook. I had to share this with you. He said, now you should also know he's ambidextrous. I was wait, he doesn't have any arms. Of course he's ambidextrous. He has cyborg arms. He didn't have any arms. He, he could have been ambidextrous before he got the cyborg arms. So apparently I misunderstood the story. If he had been ambidextrous before his real arms got lost. And so when he got his cyborg arms, he was still ambidextrous. So now I understand, I understand it. And I, I wanted to share that with you just in case you should encounter an ambidextrous cyborg with cyborg robot arms. I should probably go home now and figure out what this episode is going to be about. So um, that's that's what I'm going to do. if I should have asked him how, how he lost his arms. I didn't think about that. Now it's another day and it is time. Time to get going. Today uh, is another teaching day. Tonight is a there's, there's a ball game tonight, and and uh, right after school, or not exactly right after school, but sometime after school, like a few hours, um, the band is doing like the big giant picture, and I'm gonna set up and shoot that for them. So I, one of the things I got to do today, one of the things I'd like to get done today, uh, we, we did liquid nitrogen demonstrations yesterday. By we, I mean the ICP department, and by by that, mostly Dr. Gull, or pretty much entirely Dr. Gull. So, I videoed it for the world around us. Someone uh, commented on my channel and saying, you know, you, you, you're really prolific. You, you put out a lot of videos. And I was like, eh, well, I do, I do. The snap live videos are easy to shoot and edit. I'm gonna throw this away, I'll be right back. It's a little wheelie chair. I did this yesterday. Um, so yes, I put out a lot of videos, but there some the, the ones for the, the science videos, there's kind of like a, a special, I guess a special purpose for those. Uh, the, uh, the purpose for those obviously is the, the science class and then anyone else in the world who wants to know, I had this one video, it's called Formation of Precipitate, and it, it blew up. Uh, it went from like, like over the span of its lifetime, it's like 5, 10, 11, 11, 12, and then two weeks ago, it went like from 50 to 300 to 400, I don't remember, but it just exploded. It went. It just all in, in two days. So that's kind of cool. And now, um, it, it's it's one of my 
it's one of my most most watched videos of all time, which is the formation of precipitate. So you, you can go watch it. Um, one of the things I want to uh, an observation I made about this channel is that um, my my backlist gets a probably gets more watch than my vlog slash episodes and the snap lives. And, and I, I guess that's, that tells me something. Also, a lot of my views come from non-subscribers. So this is what I think is happening on my channel, I'm, is that the subscribers come and they'll, some of them will watch the episodes and the Snap Life videos, and then uh, recommended videos and, and uh, YouTube search and also Google search produces some of my backlist videos, the tutorial on um, a, a Photoshop plugin I, I use called Portrait Pro, the tutorial gets a lot of views. The, 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 Mavic, uh, the Mavic Air videos get a lot of views. I did a review of this camera, the 77D, a lot of, of, lot of views that come from Google search and YouTube search. So my, my strategy, I think, is I'm going to continue to produce some of the tutorial videos as the subscriber base grows. I, well, I'm gonna, I mean, the tutorials are sometimes they're fun to make. Anyway, that's where I'm kind of going. All right. What is this video about? Well, that, that analysis of the channel is kind of the, the foundation of, of what I want to talk about. And, and it's, it is in the, in the success, in the path of success, you need to look at your methodology and review it to see if it's working. And you need to review that methodology continuously. So that, that's kind of, it's kind of like the, the, in the scientific method, you have your methodology and your results, and you analyze the results, and some, sometimes the, the results may have error in them, so you go back and, and revise the, the procedures. In, in a business, in success, in life, in, in fitness, in wellness, in health, in sports, in anything that process leads to results and if the results are not maximized then you can you can feed that that non-maximization back into the procedures and the procedures then can be modified so that you get different results and you do this you do this continuously it's a quality control process where you look back at what you have already done and you see what so so that's kind of what the that's kind of what the the meaningful moment in this video is, uh, and, and then and then we have cyborgs. Don't don't forget about the cyborgs. So, uh, all right, that is a uh, that is a good start. That is a long start. Thanks for being here, and uh, we'll we'll catch up on this thought a little bit later on. I got some like lunch time today. That means it is time for lunch which means I'm a very happy person because I've, I've been hungry for like an hour. So lunch. So I'm, I'm having corn dog today for lunch. So I'm microwaving it. So um, probably we'll wrap this video up um, after, after school's out because I got to be around for the, the band photo shoot. So, um, but still um, be thinking about that. Uh, you know, looking at your process and analyzing it, seeing where you can improve so that you can get, you know, your results to be better. But the results I'm going for now is a hot microwaved corn dog. Don't you wish you were me? So the day's over. Uh, just got back. Had the had the bus duty thing today, and, and this is my last day of bus duty. And this first day, it was like really cold weather. Not really cold. It's like 30 something degrees, 37, 38. Which when I was in Memphis, people would be like, "Wow, 38 degrees. Uh, we gotta go to the store." Uh, it was also raining today. 38 and rain. Anyway, as I was coming back to the classroom, I was kind of like mumbling, talking to myself, and and it, it. I said this once before in another video. There is a fine line between being a vlogger. And, and talking to yourself like a crazy person. So I kind, of, I kind of thought about that. I was walking in the room talking to myself. I was like, you know, there's no camera. Why am I, why am I talking out loud to myself as I walk through the classroom? I got the, the band. I'm going to do their 
It's, a, it's the whole band, and they get on these uh, risers in our little theater place, and it's gonna be, I think it's for the cover of a program or a playbook or something like that. Anyway, I did it last year. It was, it was, it was a pretty easy setup. So I got all my stuff loaded on the card over here. Get that. And so I've got, I guess I got about an hour before I need to start setting up. So in that hour, I'm probably gonna go find some food or something, and then uh, I'll wrap this video up later on. Um, so that's, that's, that's the plan. So be back, be back later. All right, so, um, so we did the shoot, I did the band shoot, and uh, pretty much used the same process I used uh, the year before. Here, here's a little bit what that looked like. I set up the, the lights on the balcony, and the band was all down below, and so uh, it worked out really well last year. And it gave the director, the band director, exactly pretty much what he wanted, at least as far as I know, it's exactly what he wanted. And I thought it looked good, and so um, I did the same process this year. I used the same process to get the same successful results uh, as I had last year. Now, the, the, the process uh, that, that we use in order to, to make sure that we're maximizing our, our productivity, maximizing our success, or ma maximizing the product of our, of our work is, I, I like to say it like this, review, revise, repeat better. And so what that means is you review what you did and you look at the results and, and, and you do like, well, this could have been. And this. So here's an example. Last year, last year swim, swim meets. The, the, our, our swimming pool area, the lighting in there is, is challenging. And my first time in, I really didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know how the meet was going was to transpire. So I ended up pretty much shooting a lot of low light pictures uh, from the same pretty much angle throughout the whole meet. I got a lot of people you know, coming at the camera. And, and so I, I reviewed all those pictures and I was like, I've got to do something different. I got to do, I got to do something better. And so um, I couldn't do anything about the lighting, but I did find some ways to, to change where I stood. I got permission from the coach to go to different parts of the pool and the, the, the swimming judges and officials, they permitted me to go to different places. So I was able to get a lot better set of pictures for different swimming. So I reviewed the results and decided what I could do better and then I revised the process and then I went back and I repeated only with better results. I repeated better. So review, revise, repeat better. That, that's, how we, that's how we get uh, a system in place that leads to a very successful product or process or whatever you want to call it. All right, that's it I got for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, sign up for notifications. Leave me a comment, a question, a thought, or just, you know, whatever, random, random whatever you want to leave. Just leave me something down in the comment section so that, um, you know, I can respond to that and we can get a little interaction, a little interaction going. Uh, thanks for watching this one. That's all I got. So I will see you in the next one.